For most of common law history, male gender has been the default. As a result, we had legal concepts like the reasonable man. Indeed, under the doctrine of coverture, women for centuries were not even legal persons, but were considered to be under the guardianship of their father or their husband. Eventually, the law did recognise that some laws pertain only to women, and so the common law developed the statutory interpretation principle that where language was expressed in the male gender, it was taken to refer to both men and women, but when language was expressed in the feminine gender, it was taken to refer to women alone. This was captured in the initial form of the Acts Interpretation Act 1901, which said, Words importing the masculine gender shall include females. Since 1984, however, that provision has read, Words importing a gender include every other gender. Despite this, as recently as 2014, there was still a fundamental expectation that gender was binary, that everyone was either a man or a woman, a male or a female. Norrie was classified male at birth and in 1989 underwent gender affirmation surgery by which they became female. However, even after this process, Norrie found that being female did not feel right either. Around 2010, Norrie applied to have their gender listed on their birth certificate as being non-specific. The High Court noted that there was a relevant section in the statute which gave the registrar certain powers if a person's gender was ambiguous. This led the High Court to commence its judgment with a memorable opening line. The Court simply said, Not all human beings can be classified by sex as either male or female. They went on to say in relation to Norrie, The appropriate record of her change of sex was from male to non-specific. To make that record in the register would be no more than to recognise, as the Act does, that not everyone is male or female, and that the change to be registered was from an assumed registered classification as male to, as Norrie's application put it, non-specific. Australian law still does not recognise genders other than male, female and non-specific. However, as a matter of statutory interpretation, it is now clear that when interpreting statute, it cannot be assumed that every person can be categorised as male or female. 